welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. We are at the 2024 RV Super Show in Tampa, and we're actually in the Winnebago booth, and we're here with Brian from Winnebago. How you doing, Brian? Good. How are you doing? Good, good. And what do you do for Winnebago? I'm the product planner for our compact Class C, which okay. includes the View and Navion. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. So Brian is going to give us a rundown. This is all new, right? All new View yes. slash Navion. Yes. Okay. So we are going to go all around this and uh, give you guys all the details right now. So let's go for it. All right, folks, let me tell you about an absolute game changer for those of us living the van life or embarking on overlanding adventures. Today's sponsor, Liquefied, has come up with the ultimate solution for RV tank troubles. You know, there's nothing worse than stubborn tank buildup when you're out on the road, right? Well, Liquefied RV Tank Cleaner is here to help make those worries a thing of the past. This enzyme-based solution does exactly what its name suggest. It liquefies solid waste and toilet paper, making the dumping process smooth, clean, and easy. And the best part, it's environmentally friendly and 100% biodegradable. So you can maintain your RV without harming Mother Nature. You can snag this must-have product on Amazon today. Just click on the link in this video's description. Trust me, your RV tank and your peace of mind will thank you. Make every journey a clean and fresh one with Liquefied. Uh, starting with the Sprinter chassis that you guys use, that's not new. No. Right, but I think uh, there is an option for the all-wheel drive. Yes, that is okay. new. Um, mm -hmm. There'll be an optional all-wheel drive chassis mm -hmm. with the View and Navion. We're also offering a new low-profile front cap. This oh. one here has the cap that has a, a okay. bunk, Over. sleeping bunk yeah. inside of it. Okay. Now, if you get the all-wheel drive chassis, that does require the, the low-profile cap. Oh, it does? Yes. Oh, okay, why would um, that be? Uh, weight. Weight, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. so you guys have to reach a certain mm -hmm. weight point there. Yes. Because you're already carrying more weight with the extra, like the all wheel drive stuff. Yes. Gubbins, yep. To put it. Okay, so let's go around this way. I've done some videos of this before. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I think this falls into the category of, uh, like, let's say folks are really out there, mm -hmm. living out there, and they want to be comfortable, mm -hmm. have a few more amenities, mm -hmm. you know, bigger bathroom, yep. all that yes. kind of stuff. But what was the philosophy of redesigning all of this? What were you guys thinking about? Well, we, we came up with a 24T floor plan to meet uh, mm -hmm. a group, a certain group owner mm -hmm. that uh, is looking maybe for something that's a little bit smaller. Maybe they have a currently have a Class A or something and they want right. to downsize. Okay. Or um, you know the Murphy bed has been very popular in our 24D okay. floor plan. Mm -hmm. um, it's just this one here allows. Um, it has this, uh, as we'll see later, very large gear garage in the back and oh. very large uh, wardrobe storage in okay. the bathroom in the, okay. inside. So it's just a little bit different floor plan. Okay. Um, but a lot of these changes that we made to this 24T mm -hmm. are going to carry over into the other. Into the other ones. Okay. Yeah. So if we walk around here, let's see what's new. Are there any new paint options? Or? Yes, this is a new um, full body paint design okay. on the View and Navion. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then also one thing, um, you mentioned that uh, the, the Sprinter chassis is, is pretty much the same. Right. Except this is the new Sprinter chassis with the, uh, the, the four cylinder engine. Okay. But we've also included the digital rear view camera. Oh, so nice. So you can leave, yeah. you can have a, a, a view of behind the coach right. full time while you're driving. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So, and then I think on the all-wheel drive one, you were saying that you'll, it, it's, it'll be obvious because it'll be a little bit yes. more lifted. Yeah, it'll okay. be higher. So shorter here and lifted. Okay, yes. cool. All right, so exterior, um, is it the same storage? Have you guys redone anything with storage? Yes. Um, what we've done is all of our current View and Navions have a mm -hmm. top hinge door. Okay. The new, the new View and Navions uh, will have moved to a side hinge Oh, so door. much easier. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I agree with that. Very nice. And I see your your um, your cutoff switch is out here. That is uh, the inverter disconnect. The, okay. Yes. So. Um, okay. And is this is this? Uh, That's the breaker for the battery. Breaker for the battery, and then the, yeah, here's your disconnect. Yep. Okay. And a new feature for all of the View and Navions here is they will come standard with a 320 amp hour lithium battery system. Okay, that was going to be my next thing. So everything now is standard lithium. Yes. Is there an upgrade from the 320 or? There will be. Um, there will be, okay. There will be an optional package mm -hmm. that will include a 950 amp hour wow. battery system okay. in there with additional solar. Okay. Um, but you will not be able to get a generator with that. Oh, okay. We call it a generator replacement pack. Oh, so this will have lithium, but still a generator. You can oh. get a generator okay. with this one. With this yes. one. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
And then uh, I guess we where are we going next? Towards the gear garage? Sure. Okay. Oh, the, look at this. The new 24T floor plan has okay. uh, has an echo style gear garage yeah. in the back here. As Very you nice. see, they have a couple of bikes loaded yeah. in here. Um, this is an insulated and heated mm -hmm. uh, garage storage area here. Yeah, um, these bikes are pretty much they're not broken down or anything. No, they're they're yeah. the full usable height. Right. And on each side of the doors here, you have a light, a 110 outlet, and a like a 12 volt cigarette lighter style oh, cool. outlet. And you okay. have one by each door, each door up in the corners there. Okay, so you can plug in if anything needs to charge. You can plug it yes. in. Yes. Yep. Okay. For, for charging like e-bikes. Okay, so uh, a door on each side, and then this back door. Yes. So did this come out of the popularity of the Echo, and then you have yes. people requesting like something bigger? Yes. How come I can't get that same storage? Okay, <laughs> it makes sense. That's cool. And then, like you said, the, these cameras here tie into a camera system up front. Correct. So that's all time. Like, yes. If, when you're driving, you can still see. Okay. Yep. As you can see, there's two cameras up there. Mm -hmm. One is for the the backup camera that's in your infotainment center. Right. Okay. That one you can't leave. Like today, you can't right. leave on okay. all the time. Because that's OEM. Correct. Okay. But the second camera, well, that's the, the second camera is OEM as well. Oh. But it's tied into that digital rearview mirror. Okay. So, so we'll. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's nice. It's good to see that mm -hmm. digital rear view mirror in more applications. Yes. I think. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I wish like every like Transit had it. You know, ProMaster had it as well. Is there anything on that side we should take a look at? I see some kind of ducted um, air coming in yeah, here. Yeah, so that's the heat. So you yeah. can still get heat back. This here, is a right? heated uh, gear garage area. Mm -hmm. So that that uh, smaller round duct there is the okay. supply, mm -hmm. and then this over here is the return air. Oh, okay. So cool. you can get your airflow in there. And it's all finished in a easy to clean, durable fiberglass. Mm -hmm. So let, maybe let's go this way, take a look at the bump out from the outside, okay. and then uh, what? What? So here will be another door, another door to go to the in if you want to go in there. Yes. And then here's looks like your power setup. Okay, yes, we have a detachable power cord mm -hmm. in here, and that'll be on the the new views and Avions. Okay. But this here is your service center. Oh, okay. Oh. As you can see, nice. it's a comfortable to use height. Mm -hmm. Your showers at. A comfortable to use height. Your valves for your holding tanks mm -hmm. are at a, a yeah a yeah. You don't to have to height. duck down or anything yes. to get to it. Mm -hmm. And we have added an, an exterior light up here, so you can see uh -huh. this area here at nighttime. So where's your dumping station? Uh, the outlets are still down below. They're you, still down here, yes, but you can control but you can them. Control oh. the outlets from oh. up here. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you would just go down there to get it hooked up, but once you're yeah. ready. Shut yep. things on and on. Mm -hmm. You can do it from up here. Yep. And okay. all of your valves, like your your tank fill versus your normal mm -hmm. operation and your winterization, mm -hmm. are all located at a easy to use yeah. height. Switch for the water pump. That's yep. helpful. Yeah. Yep. You don't have to scream at your significant other <laughs> to yep. turn it on mm -hmm. or off. <laughs> and so, are these fills right here? Um, one's a fresh water inlet. That's mm -hmm. for the power fill. Okay. And then this one, I think, is the uh, yeah, the holding tank flushing system. Black, yeah, the black tank yep. flush. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then a gravity what's this? fill. Oh, that's a gravity. Gravity fill. fill. Okay. So it has a uh, power tank fill and gravity fill. Okay, cool. There's a Truma Aqua Go. Looks yes. like the vent for mm -hmm. it here. Okay. Yep. Nice. And that's a bedroom window. No, this is a window over the kitchen. Over yeah, the kitchen. Oh, yep. okay. All right. So we'll, we'll yep. take a look at that when we go in. Mm -hmm. Um, is this storage in the? Bucket? Yes, it is. Oh. Now you got really to the garage. Now you got additional <laughs> storage here on the outside. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You can put a nice bar or something out here, yep. I guess. Yeah. That's good. Looks like you can even get chairs and stuff in there. Oh, that's yep. sweet. So you guys didn't have this before, did you? No. No. I'm this yeah. is new with the 24T floor pad. Oh, very nice. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. I like what that. What's the T stand for? It's just, there's really no, we just, uh, I, I chose it because it was a letter that we hadn't used for a while. Yeah, they used yet. So, and other floor plans. Okay, understood. Yeah. All right. Now, this one here has the standard single pane windows. They're glass slider windows. Okay. But you can get an optional dual pane acrylic window. The like ones we, that come yeah, out. Yeah, like we currently itself. do in the viewing now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so that's an optional upgrade. Yes. Okay, very nice. And again, down here, you have the, uh, the side hinge doors. Oh, down here, yeah. Compartments. Mm -hmm. All of them are now side hinged rather yeah. than uh, top hinged. Yeah. 
that's good I think it just makes it so much easier to get mm -hmm. in there and yep. you know put stuff in mm -hmm. because before you have to like really get down whereas you could just toss things in mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that's nice all right let's keep yeah. going uh, should we go in sure this is why like I was saying outside you know if you really want to live on the road and, and feel comfortable and just have all the space in the world but not be in a big class A, this is what you're looking at. It feels really roomy and spacious mm -hmm. in here as soon as we step in. So give me the rundown of what you guys did new. Okay. You know, what were you thinking? Sure. Uh, this is the all new 24T floor plan. Mm -hmm. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to include a, a front Murphy bed lounge area nice. with a dining area yeah. that could be used when the Murphy bed is in the down position. Okay. And also if the slide room is in, the Murphy bed can still be used. Yeah. Um, we worked with... Oh, okay. Yep. So I see if you have this in you, and you stop, you can still use that bed. Let's you say you're still... like in a rest stop somewhere. Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. Or if you're camping somewhere that you yeah. cannot extend the slide room. You can't room. put it out. Okay. Yes. Cool. Um, this new sofa is... Uh, the team at Winnebago with the the product team and the interior design team worked together to, and worked with a, a another company to mm -hmm. develop this uh, power reclining, uh, very stylized very uh, nice. theater we... seat mm -hmm. that can be used as a theater seat or as a sofa. Ah, oh, cool. And these backs fold completely down mm -hmm. to drop to make the Murphy to drop bed. The bed. Okay, yep. so are these yep. like buttons here or does something go, oh, maybe okay. table? Okay, you can put a little table in there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They just fit right in here. And nice. And now you've got a little uh, table for yeah. if uh, you're reclining, watching mm -hmm. TV yeah, or, eating. or just here at the evening or if you needed a place for additional people to eat. Oh, yep. cool. All right. Yeah. Um, am I noticing something different with these cabinets or? Well, we got a new new style of door. The yeah. current View and Navion have a curved door. Okay. This is a, a new flat fold door. It's uh, they're angled with a with a, a sharp fold mm -hmm. crease in there. And then the storage actually wraps back around behind the TV, mm -hmm. so we aren't you um, wasting any yeah. storage space. Yeah. And that's on both sides, and then I see the TV's got yes. comes with a sound bar and everything. Yes. But it has a specific cabinet. Is this a smart TV? It is a smart TV, okay. and it's also a Bluetooth soundbar. Oh, cool. There, so you can stream music mm -hmm. to it or, or whatever. So yeah. this area here kind of like gives you a little bit of room to play with, right? Yes. Like you were saying, so if the slide's in, you still have all this room. You can fold all this stuff down Yes. Um, and, and uh, drop the bed down. Mm -hmm. Or you could use this space still to sit down, have lunch yep. or something. Yes, like this that. table does mm -hmm. fold down and the chairs fold up and store mm -hmm. along the wall there for mm -hmm. um, travel. Okay. In there, so very nice. Yeah. And uh, this is like you were saying the what is it called? Cab over. The cab over bunk. Right. Yeah. I think you said with the all-wheel drive version, this is this is not an option with that, right? Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, we're offering a new low-profile front cap that has mm -hmm. a full storage area. Okay. So and it's probably coming to like right here. Uh, yeah. Well, coming up to uh, where the about, about the, the windshield is. Yeah. yeah. So still big storage area oh, yes. up here. Yes. Okay. And that is optional on the rear wheel drive chassis as well. It is, okay. It's, it's, it's available on all of them, but just required with the all wheel drive chassis. Okay, all right, very cool. And you guys can see you've got your typical Mercedes stuff stuff up front here. Um, the, the, the seats do match the furniture back here though, right? Yes. Are there any options? On, I like this color. Are there any options on the, uh, like the finishing of the seats? Um, there are two different interior uh, decor choices. Mm -hmm. This one is called Hugahas. Hugahas. And the other okay. one is Mod Allure. Okay. Which is kind of a, a more of a, a white, off white, gray. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. This, is, this is very nice. Whereas this one has like a wood grain pattern and texture to it, that mm -hmm. one is more of a solid. Okay. So with this Murphy bed, is it, how easy is it to do the Murphy bed? It's just as easy as our 24D. Okay. What you do is you fold the, the seat backs down. Mm -hmm. Extend the legs, mm -hmm. and you come over to here, mm -hmm. and you push the button, and it power drops down, power just like drops. the D. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. And then going uh, back here, uh, what are we what are we looking at over here that we miss? I know that you. I think for the first time, you guys have a completely new control panel inside of here. Yes. Uh, this is the the new Winnebago Connect. 
So we've got Chris here from Winnebago just to give us a run through on the new Winnebago Connect. Am I getting that yep. name right? Yep. Okay, and I think we're seeing it for the first time here in the view. That's correct. All right, so yep. give us the rundown. Yeah, so Winnebago Connect is an all-in-one system that brings um, essentially all the electrical components um, of the vehicle into one central uh, command center here. Okay. Um, so what you see is you've got your HMI screen here, which will control everything. And it also comes with this companion app um, that essentially lets you uh, control everything um, that the HMI does here mm -hmm. uh, in the palm of your hand. And this uh, does have far field connectivity, so you okay. can uh, you know connect from anywhere in the world. Awesome. Uh, okay, so not just Bluetooth, let's say. Correct. Okay. So it has both nice. Bluetooth and far field. Exactly. Sweet. Yep. Okay. Um, so this, so Winnebago Connect, like I said, brings all the electrical components. Um, together into one one place. It also controls the generator, which obviously is not <laughs> electric, but you can start and stop the generator from here as well. Oh, okay. So you're able to control the lighting as a master switch or um, by zone. So okay. it has all the zones in the RV in it. Mm -hmm. um, it also has presets, so you can set and forget. So if you have uh, you know work mode and sleep mode and you know what have you, okay, that's um, cool. you can set them there. Uh, if you go into some of the other things here, um, so energy management will help you track your energy usage, so mm -hmm. how your battery is doing, um, as well as, you know, is it charging, um, is it draining. Eventually we'll have, you know, what items are draining it that'll uh, be available. Oh, really? Too. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And just tell me if it's okay to change. Yep. 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 Okay. All right. Great. Um, climate control. Climate control. Uh, your awnings and slide outs are also um, controlled from there, as well as the app. Oh, okay. Um, so you'll be able to, you know, stand outside by your slide out and, and mm -hmm. move that out back and forth as you want. Um, yeah, climate. Uh, we can take a look at that quick. Uh, it's gonna, there she goes. Um, so that allows you to obviously turn on your thermostat, control the temperatures. Mm -hmm. Um, along with this, a feature that's going to be coming out is pet monitoring. Okay. So what pet monitoring does is allows you to set a temperature range, mm -hmm. um, so a high and a low. And what that'll do is send push notifications to the app and mm -hmm. tell you when you're getting close to the higher or the low range as well as, you know, if okay. you start to So if you're it, away so from, from, the, uh, from the RV and your pet's still here, you can kick it on. Yep. Yep. Can you set it to just turn on when it gets there, or? Um, be, so, so like yeah. it'll tell you that it's getting a little hot in here, yep. and you can turn it on. You can Will turn it, do it on. It? So can what you, you can it? do mm -hmm. is, um, it'll tell you if you know the power to the coach is out or something like that. Mm -hmm. It'll allow you to set up your generator for auto generator start. So okay. if for some reason you lose shore power or your mm -hmm. battery starts to drain, the generator will kick on okay. uh, while you're away and, and uh, turn everything back on. Okay, very nice. The battery. Yeah. Okay. And you guys will be able to update this remotely? So over the air updates, mm -hmm. so we will be able to push those um, down as they become available. So mm -hmm. it's software updates as well as new features as well oh, will be nice. um, sent that way. Okay. And of course the app will be continuously updated through you know, uh, the App Store. And it's a free app available uh, for the Fry Floor and Android. Awesome, thank so, you. Yeah. Okay, did we miss anything? Um, I don't think so. Uh, the only other thing I guess I'd add is that um, you know, we didn't develop this in a box. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot of customer input. Mm -hmm. This has been out in the field being tested by customers and mm -hmm. we've taken what, you know, the feedback that they've given us mm -hmm. and incorporated it back into the system. Yeah, so, very nice. Yeah. I also like it's a nice big screen. It's a it's a 10 inch yeah. screen. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's very easy to see. Yeah. And I'm guessing you can remove it from here for servicing if you need to, or at least take off that panel, it looks like. The panel will come off, well, yeah. Yeah, yep. awesome, yep. thank you. Exactly. This area up here includes a little additional storage, but it mm -hmm. also houses the uh, mm -hmm. Blu-ray player, your slide room controls, and uh, your Power Murphy bed. Oh, control. okay. Yep. Oh, you nice. can you can control the slide room mm -hmm. from your app with the Winnebago Connect system or from okay. the monitor panel. But okay, we cool. also have a separate manual switch up there okay, as well. Cool. And this area up here also includes the uh, which our current View and Navion have mm -hmm. um, the roof wiring access port. Oh, nice. There's a as you can see right up in here, there's a plug in there. Yeah. And what that plug is, is there's a dedicated uh, hole in the roof, and mm -hmm. there's a cover on the outside. So if you wanted to add any 
outside equipment, electrical, mm -hmm. electronic equipment or whatever. Yeah. You now you have a dedicated do. path to get yeah. um, like into Starlink or something. Yes. Yeah, you don't have to drill your own yep. holes or worry yep. about that kind of stuff. Nice. And then we have all the power outlets up there. There's a 110 outlet, a 12 mm -hmm. volt, and then a, a dual USB, which is a, uh, we have one type A and one type C okay. uh, USB outlets. Okay. And that's what's all included, nice, all every yeah, USB kind of outlet. Right. Every mm -hmm. USB outlet in here is, uh, has mm -hmm. the, the dual um, mm -hmm. type A and type B, oh, okay. or type C uh, right. USB outlets. Cool. Yep. Um, so let's go in here, take a look at the fridge, real, like actual full size. Yes. It's a 10 cubic <laughs> foot, uh, 12 volt refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And this is what is currently available in the View and Navion as mm -hmm. well. Yep. Okay, very nice. And then there's a kitchen back here. So I'm sure yes. we're looking at convection and stove yes. top, it looks like uh, gas or? Gas yeah. and induction. Okay. So you have the two different uh, power sources there, oh, cool. the fuel or, or electric. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then also up above here is a residential 30-inch um, over-the-range microwave oven yeah. with convection. Yeah. This is kind of just like the one that you'd have in your yeah. house. Nice big one, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you can get some serious cooking done on mm -hmm. that. All right. Yep. And then um, let's take a look at the drawers yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you can see, like the, the current view and Navion, they're, they're all lit. Right. And you mm -hmm. just check the sizes of these. There's three drawers here. This one's a uh, different height here because of the, the, the mm -hmm. cooktop. Mm -hmm. And they're all soft clothes. Nice. But you get down here, see how large these drawers are? Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a new drawer system that we're using here in the View and Navion. Mm -hmm. It's a, a purchased metal um, modular drawer oh. system. Oh, okay, cool. So all yeah. the your hardware and everything yep. is somewhere inside of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's and it cool. is soft clothes. And then yeah. we have three of those large drawers like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then over here we have a, a continuation of the galley with a single round bowl sink, mm -hmm. which is large diameter and it's pretty deep. And it has a, a separate cover on there to create uh, extra counter space. Cool. Along with the uh, flip up extension here, gives you a little bit of extra counter space. Mm -hmm. But it's designed so that you can, when it's up, you can still get back, pass through to the bathroom. Okay. And then also when it's down, you can get access to this storage underneath this sink here too. Oh, okay. So, so we've got some plumbing and stuff yes. like that inside of here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what's nice is when this slide room is in, not extended, but when it's in, mm -hmm. you can access your cooktop, all your drawers, your microwave, your, your door storage underneath here, your sink, mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. in the slide rooms either in or out. Oh, okay. Yes. That's a big cabinet yeah, here. Looks a large like more room. storage. Yes. Very nice. I like the, the uh, okay. I'm starting to get some rain. Yeah. yeah. All right, and then we've got a nice copper. Looks like uh, backsplash. backsplash here. That's nice. And then here's that window we were looking at outside. Yes, from the outside. Yeah. Let's put the lights on in here and go into the bathroom. And, uh, before this also has two. Oh, cool. Pantry door boxes here. Mm -hmm. So you have food storage and pantry storage there. Now one of the big one of the big highlights of this floor plan is this large bathroom. Mm -hmm. you can see here. Yeah. With a large shower with a built-in seat. Yeah, so it's definitely split here. You've got your shower on one side. Yeah. You see you have a nice full length or mirror over the mm -hmm. lavatory, which actually makes the, the space look bigger. Yeah, it's very nice. And this is one of the highlights of the another highlight over of this coach over that exterior gear garage. Right. Lots of storage. Now you have this huge wardrobe yeah. storage, mm -hmm. just like your closets at home. Right. You know, a large yeah. residential size. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then if you open this one up, now you got a little bit of a different oh, storage see. area here. Yeah, you, you got, got some drawers. adjustable storage mm -hmm. or adjustable shelf, and then pull out drawers, along with that new modular drawer design and soft close. Cool. Is this also storage here? Yes, on the it side? is. Okay. A very large medicine cabinet. Yeah, and I see you have control over cabinet. the Truma here. Yes, right here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, water pump switch, uh, okay. 112, and then, mm -hmm. and then this switch here turns on the accent lights. Oh, okay. Down there, so it kind of acts like a little bit of a night light mm -hmm. at night. Yeah. 
So how big are the tanks on this? The fresh water is 30 gallons. Okay. And the gray is 47 and the black is 46. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, Brian, thanks for giving us this look oh, at the new view slash Navion. I appreciate it. Very nice. You guys have done some good things here. Thank you. I can see that quite a few people will like these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great layout. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying our coverage here at the 2024 RV Super Show in Tampa. We're here with Winnebago. Uh, if folks want to know more, Brian, how do they get more info? Um, well, they can go to the website mm -hmm. on there. And then also they can call into our concierge line mm -hmm. that... Uh, We'll answer questions. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. We're out of here. Peace.